Hello YouTube. We got a lot of questions about our boondocking setup. And uh, here we are. We're, uh, we're in our happy place. This is the, this is the location the primarily why we built our rig the way we did. And uh, this is where she excels. So let's just go over a few things. So walking up on this trip, cause we're gonna be in this location for about a week. We took uh, Yeller with us, old Yeller. So let's have the windshield down. And uh, this is our beach buggy. So if we wanna go sightseeing down the beach, or if we wanna go way down there, that's where the trailhead is, about a mile and a half up. You gotta go through the dunes, and that's where you can get some water and dump your tanks and garbage. So she's actually ready for a garbage run right now. Got our beach pups. And of course, Savage Sea. So this is a bit our basic setup. Got our awning out and my outdoor kitchen command center here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this at all, but battery 79%, inverting. It's 10.30 in the morning and we're pumping close to a thousand watts. So we're almost meeting our air conditioning, which is going inside and uh, our refrigerator and everything else. Of course, gotta have the flags up. Got our toys over here. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna get its own episode. Talk more about her soon. And there's the kiddos out there. So, nice and cool. You still have the Coleman Mock cover on. Um, not sure if you guys saw in the episode, our AC died right before we hit the road. Uh, we've been on the road for almost three weeks. Uh, went back to the house, swapped Jeeps quick, and came back out here. But uh, we went with a Furion 13.5 BTU, and they actually have a conversion kit to this air conditioner, the Coleman Mox. So we're able to keep our guts and computer, so it's simple plug and play. And uh, we did that because well, it had good reviews, good price. It's actually more efficient than our 11K Coleman, but um, we were able to do it quickly in the fly. I think we had the whole thing swapped out in a couple hours. Anyway, more importantly, here we go. So she's just humming along, pulling 16 amps from the batteries, and we can hold this for, oof, I mean, way, before, way until the sun goes down. So during the day when we had the solar pump in, we could run our air conditioner, lights, fridge, everything, almost without running the generator. So back on the outside. So geographically, we're at the tip of Long Island on the South Shore. So right about there is the famous Montauk Lighthouse and uh, Camp Hope is over there. So if you know your military conspiracy theories and everything, a lot of weird stuff happened there. Uh, Plum Island, which is another epic military uh, conspiracy theory, Dr. Moreau style stuff. And if you see in the distance, make that out, that is all Connecticut. And sorry for the cheesy camera work here, Phillips. And that is the North Fork of the island. And that's it. We're gonna be out here for another, another five days or so, roughing it. All right, any questions, please let me know and I will cover them. Until then, happy trails.